What we're looking for is a nice straight piece of hazel. Hazel being a really good renewable wood and if we cut it correctly it'll regrow and we'll get lots of new shoots to replace the ones we've cut down. It's called coppicing. So we're looking for a long straight piece of hazel. That looks ideal there. But we also have another feature that's useful to us and that is the fact that it has a crook in it there. Now we can use that in several different ways for the support to suspend the pot over the fire and also for the pot hanger itself. So there we have our, our main support. And by cutting it just here, and then once here, we have a Y-shaped piece which is used as a support. So we position the Y-shaped support next to the fire, make sure that's very secure. Next thing we need to do is to get this long supporting pole and lay it on the Y-shaped piece. This gives us the exact balance position so that it doesn't twist. And that will be used as our hook so we can make an adjustable pot stand. Now I'm going to just cut a little cross into this piece of timber, sharp tap that side, just take away some of the surplus material. What we're looking for is something like a bird's beak, so that this section here protrudes out and scoops in just a little bit. So I'm going to take that a little bit further. So my favourite wood for any kind of eating utensil is hazel. So we're going to make a, a little fork, just a field expedient means of eating. And then what we're going to do is just split this hazel using the tip of our knife. And that's a handy way to make a fork 